STEM person, I'm a scientist, and I'm also a female, I'm also a person of color, I'm also an immigrant, so all those parts of my identity, they affect the opportunities and access not only that I have to STEM in those fields, but also that so many other people have. You can't live life without recognizing the inequality that you face being indigenous, especially as an indigenous woman. Moi, c'est quelque chose qui est, qui est instauré, uh, même si c'est de manière inconsciente. I was a very assertive young person, and oftentimes that was labeled as bossy or um, overpowering instead of just being a leader. Little microaggressions that aren't always realized as being inequitable. Things like, I need four strong boys to move this, this desk. Cultural expectations for me to have children. It's the first of its kind where young people are leading the way to craft policy that has the potential to really change the society we live in. This is a conversation, and everyone needs to be a part of this conversation, because gender equality... It's not a woman's issue, it's not a, it's, it's, it's a people issue. For so long, change in the gender equality movement has been for a specific group of people in a specific place. But when we think of all the youth that are here today, and myself with the unique life experience we bring, that change has to be for everybody, in all identities, in all walks of life. Yeah, so I think that's a round of applause.